Hello guys, so in the last video we have seen how to create a first application in React Native. So in this video we are going to discuss about the folder structure of the project so that we can get familiar with all the files in folder. So first of all we have underscore underscore test underscore underscore. So this folder is basically used for writing test cases. So if you want to do write test cases you can use this folder. So by default they have given this app hyphen test. So you can add more tests over there. Okay, let's close it and move to next. Then we have dot bundle and there are a lot of other files and folders that start with dot. So basically you don't need to bother about these. So most of these are not used in most of the time. Uh, the important one here you must be using most of the time git ignore in git ignore you can mention the files which you don't want to push into your repository so whenever we will use any of these i will let you know along with full detail okay then we have this android folder so this folder basically contain android specific source code and the other files same way for ios we would have ios specific source code and the related files and then we have node modules so this basically contain all the npm packages and then we have app.js so this is basically the file where we are going to write the react native code okay so then move to next we have app.json so this basically contain the information like your project name so if you want to change your project name to be displayed to something else you can just change it from here let's close so then we have this babel.config.js this basically a configuration file for babel so if you want to do mention some babel configuration then you can put it over here so just for your knowledge babel is used for transforming the ECMA script code to JavaScript specific code because the old browser do not support that so in order to support that sometimes it is required to transform that ECMA code to JavaScript then we have gem file which is used for Ruby dependencies so it is basically used by Cocoa ports in iOS then we have next.js so this is basically the starting of your react native application so here we register the root component that is app component and your app basically start from here then we have this metro config.js which is basically used for mentioning some configuration related to metro so metro is basically a bundler that is used to convert your code so that it can be executed on the emulator or the device and package log.json basically it is auto generated file you don't need to bother about this then we have this package.json which is the most important file so it basically contains your app name version and some scripts for debugging your app and dependencies as well so that's all for this video if you have any query you can do comment in the comment section Thank you.